everyone and welcome back to my channel now I've got some diamond paintings to unbox today now the only thing I've got to say is these were in the sale these were in the sale and that's why I purchased them um, but I did notice one that I would really really like went on sale again last night so I think there's three in here there is three and I've got the prices on my phone that's where you can see my phone I have just opened the box Pretty big box, pretty big box. So let's take these out of here. So we've got our first one. I think the more I'm diamond painting now, I think I do prefer the look of square, as you can tell, square diamond paintings. Although I do find, oh, one more thing to follow. I do find that, um, I get through the circle ones a lot quicker but in saying that that Mystic Art Mirrors one that I finished recently was a square and I did that in a week um, I won't be doing that anytime soon <laughs> not that again uh, so I'll move these out of the way and I'll go through them one by one and I will find the prices as well so I'm having to film this stood up so my camera is way up high way up high now, I was a bit silly buying these to be honest because I'm having to store a lot of things at my mother-in-law's house so when she comes round at the end of this week she's going to be getting a couple more diamond paintings to, <laughs> to keep in a loft and I'm to slowly sending things there and then it's easier on moving there. I know things are looked after there as well so I'll just have to chuck that on the floor for now. But this one is Infinite Wisdom. If I just show you the little thumbnail and it is a square all of these ones are square and it's a 66 by 51 centimeter now let me get the prices up on my phone right so i think at the time as well they might have had like a discount code it might have been 15 20 percent off for the i can't remember what it was for now i can't remember it was a couple of weeks ago now um, but I paid £38 for this one after all the discounts and the sale and everything this one was £38 and I think that's a steal for a diamond art club oh that's going Marcus uh, can I get this open right here we go now as I thought this is an older kit so I'm, I'm hoping I'm keeping my fingers crossed the, the actual chart is already cut out because it drives me nuts. It drives me absolutely by me. So this is the old uh, tool kit. Now, I don't mind having these because you can't have too many bolts and you can't have too much wax. So what you get in a kit, like I said, the new kit is different. You get little extras with the new kit. So you get some bags for keeping your diamonds in, but I've got a storage system that I absolutely love. You've got your diamond painting pen with a squisher and that just goes over the top there just to make it a little bit more comfortable but I've just got some uh, diamond painting pens off Amazon some a little bit like actually I can show you this is the one that I'm currently using it was about seven or eight pounds off Amazon and then the other one is packed away but it's a blue one like a light blue one and that was a similar price and I bought the metal tips as well separately on Amazon because I was going through these plastic ones because I'm heavy handed it was really dinting them so I just went ahead and bought the the metal ones now wax I'm keeping these out I'm keeping a little separate pile for my wax so that can be kept out so that's everything that you, you need to start the diamond paint so you don't need all these fancy doodads and you do get some very sharp tweezers to make sure you can put a lid on when you're not using them with it being a square diamond painting and we're going to be able to put this back together because ideally i want to put all this back in the box you do get a little sticker as well now what i've been doing with these is putting them in my planner so i know what i've got and what i've done uh, but I know that some people put them at the bottom of the box just easier because if you're storing them on top of each other then you'll be able to see better what is actually in the box so let's open this up 
like I said ideally I don't want to rip the bags because I want to put everything back in and keep it all protected for the move whenever that may be <laughs> let's move this stuff out of the way so here's our canvas so I think this is a really nice size it's not you know too massive where I'm feeling like I'm overwhelmed I love the colours of this one all the purples oh beautiful so I'll bring you in really really close and you can see the drill field where are you there you are camera and how clear it is now I have got a light box I got that light box when I first started sketching before even colouring a couple of years ago and I do occasionally use it on these and I mean very occasionally um, I find it's more of a hassle to use a light box than than anything but I know that it does help a lot of people maybe if I had a larger light box because you're constantly having to move it around when you're moving around the uh, the canvas well right out I forgot how good this camera is for zooming in and out I'm using my old camera so glad I didn't get rid of it now anyway the canvas is super super soft if you've tried any of the the cheaper ones on Amazon or cheaper branded ones Aliexpress maybe you know they can be quite stiff I, th I think this is poured glue now I'm relatively new to diamond painting I'm still getting my head around it and please don't think for a minute oh gosh she's got all this and she's not going to be doing any colouring on the channel no of course not of course not you know it's mainly a colouring channel but I'm enjoying doing this as well at the same time the way I've got it set up this is my main colouring desk and then I've got the dining table behind me and then throughout the night I'm just bobbing between the two and literally last night I said to my husband before I was going to bed I love this setup so I can go and down and paint for half an hour when I get bored or my neck's hurting because it does hurt and my back I come and sit at my desk and do colouring and it's just working out uh, beautifully so we've got 54 colours on this one I don't open this are they cut out yay the cut out the cut out thank the lord <laughs> Thank the Lord, because now that they're just easy to peel off and you can put them on your containers or your bags uh, for keeping your drills in, I had to, that was so tedious. Actually, I've got the one that I'm working on now is a very old one, it's an Alice one, and you can see the edges there where I've not cut it properly. I literally had to cut every single colour, and then this one that I'm working on, how many colours are there? there's 56 colours so I had to do that 56 times so no wonder I got annoyed and no wonder I get so excited <laughs> when um, when they're already cut out like that absolutely it's superb the owls are beautiful aren't they I think this is going to be stunning when it's finished I do like block block colours like there's all blocks here of the same symbol because I work with multi-places so I'll really enjoy all of this even looking at the skin, I'll bring you back in and again. Even looking at that skin, you've got a lot of L's, you've got a couple of M's, the ticks, oh, look at, look at the lips. Oh, it's just beautiful, this one, beautiful. I can see me getting through this a little bit quicker than more confetti ones. The one that I'm working on now is confetti. <laughs> um, how many Aurora Borealis have you got? I, I don't really want to be taking these out the box because I won't get them, uh, the bag rather, because I won't get them back in. But you can see, oh, the Aurora Borealis ones, the, you see that purple one? The really, really shiny one. It's got like a special coating on it. Absolutely beautiful. I think this is going to be absolutely superb when it's done. And all that I've been doing is when I've finished a diamond painting, I've been either framing it, depends which one it is, um, or I've just been rolling it back, so I roll it the opposite way around, the opposite way around, and just store it in the box. Now, I will say as well, I think these canvases, they call them self-flattening, but all that I do is I just roll it the opposite way, um, because it's pour glue, it's safe to do that. I just roll it the opposite way and then it's absolutely fine. I'm not going to do that now because it is just going straight back in the box. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, I didn't say the artist as well. Uh, Whitney Page by Diamond Art Club. And this is still in on the sale at the minute. So grab yourself a bargain. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one. So I've just gone ahead and opened the box and took off the plastic. But this is the next one. Demure Wisdom. I'll have to show you this way. I know it's sideways. 
but that is the thumbnail and this one is 51 centimeter by 69 centimeters and again it's a square let's get this out oh we've got other things in here as well so is this all by the artist so the old tool kit again so i won't go through that because i've just been through it but Milan Art Institute. I didn't even know they come with these. So I'm going to keep that to one side and have a look, a look at that later actually. So it must be something to do with the, the artist maybe. So let's carefully open this. Carefully. <laughs> and lift this out. Now this one did cost £32 after all the discounts and the sale price and everything. So which way around is this one? So this one's going to be this way so I'm going to have to turn it unfortunately to fit it on in the frame. So there's 60 colours in this one. So again, lovely cutouts, superb, over the moon. <laughs> over the moon with that oh i forgot to mention as well you do get a step-by-step -step instructions book with each of them as well so it just explains how to diamond paint gives you tricks and tips and then i do believe there's a cut is there a code yes there's a code there for 10 percent off your next purchase i do believe that there's all sorts of codes out there i don't think that i've ever paid full price uh, for a diamond art club all oh, these look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm not going to open these up because I don't want diamonds flying everywhere and I want them to fit back in the box nicely because it'll feel like a brand new diamond painting when I come to opening it again, which won't be that long. I think this other one that I'm doing now will probably take me a day or two. I'm just trying to see if I can see that. Yes, so there's one there, one of two. So there's a purple and an orange, I think, in this one. And a pink. So there's three in this one. There could have been more in that other one. I just didn't just didn't spot them. So this is the actual canvas. And the reason that I got this one again, because I thought, look at that background. It's my it's heaven for me with the colour blocking. I just really, really enjoy doing that. I've not seen that symbol before. It looks like um sort of like a chessboard pattern I just keep my finger there and then see that one there or like a tiled floor I've never seen that pattern before but because I meet you even closer here you see all this I can use my multiplacer tool and get through it a lot quicker now I know it's not about how quick that you can finish a diamond painting it's about the process but my brain the way that it works is when I see good progress I want to carry on and I, I, when I get to the end I'm really proud of myself that I've finished it. Anybody else? Is that just me? Is that just me? Is, do you agree Rolo? you agree? <laughs> She's playing in the bed. Uh, so uh, I don't, I don't want to butcher this artist's name so I'm just going to lift it up to the camera but that is the artist's name and it says licensed. That's the thing with Diamond Dark Club as well, they're all licensed. I've looked at other diamond painting companies that are cheaper and I've noticed a couple of even like Hannah Cowles on and I know that she doesn't do uh, diamond paintings and I've seen her pictures, you know, it's still on artwork. So you're paying these, you're paying a little bit extra for the quality of the products and the fact that the the license for all these pictures. But yeah, you've got a beautiful lady here. It's really like abstract the background on this one. You've got a butterfly, a snake wrapped around her neck, and then a lion's face just about the. If I lift it up, just about there, you can see a lion's face. It looks so much clearer that on camera than in, in real life because you're so much higher up. Wow. So that is going to be absolutely stunning. That is really going to pop out once you start adding them, them diamonds. And like I said, I did pay £32 for this one. I think this is just going to be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's obviously that you can't hang every single diamond painting that you've got, but there's a possibility this one might be hung up. Possibility, if I've got the room for it. I do think that this one is going to be immensely gorgeous when it's done. So let's move on to the very last one. 
and this is the very last one and this is one's called Crocodoc Baby. Now I have just checked on the Diamond Club, Diamond Dark Club website and it is still 50% off this. So if you can get it now, it's, it's a cracking price. So all of these kits that we've got so far are the old kits. I will show you the packaging of the new kits. So the new kits will come in this. Whereas that is the old kit. I do prefer the new kit because I like the little extras. You get cover minders um, and a masking tape and your wax comes in a little heart shaped container as well which I do enjoy. Uh, so that can be moved to this side. Again, square. You might be sick of hearing me say that but just in case that you missed it, it is another square. plastic I am very very excited about this one I've not had any of these at this artist work before and this one cost me 34 pounds and it is still at the same price so if you're gonna order you do you have to you don't have to but if you spend over 60 pounds um, it's free shipping otherwise I think it's around 15 pounds so you better off just going over that 60 mark to uh, save yourself some money so this is a pretty big one <laughs> a pretty big one and this has got 63 colours look how beautiful and vibrant they are I'm really not doing it justice am I because I'm not opening the squares up but I'm seeing a lot of the Aurora Borealis uh, like creamy coloured one and then a pink can I spot any more without shifting them out but I don't usually have an issue with the Diamond Dark Club ones. I mean, you'll get the odd one that's a little misshapen or you get a little piece, piece I think it's acrylic. Uh, you'll get a little piece of acrylic every now and again, just like a little spot of it. But other than that, I don't really have an, an issue. But look at this. <laughs> this one's a big one. This one, I'm wondering if it's the same size as the Hannah Lynn one that I did. It's that big, I can't get it in frame and there's not a lot I can do about it. So if I put it this way, uh, and let me just check, yeah, Mandy Manzala, or Man Mandy Manzalo, I have been desperate to try one of hers, so this is my first one from this artist, I have seen that they've got really thin long ones that I, I really want to try, there's a Beauty and the Beast, I'm just hoping that it comes back in stock, uh, but yeah, and another thing, I probably can't pick it up on camera, I will try my best, but the canvas itself is actually glittery yep i think it's the glue that they use but no the camera's not going to pick it up but i promise you that it is sparkly in real life and it's really really soft if you want to have something really special to work on go with the diamond dark club one um i'm not an, i'm not an affiliate or anything like that uh i'm just saying what what I think, if I'm going to spend hours and hours and hours on diamond painting, I want it to be the best. And this is the best that I have uh, found. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So again, a lot of colour blocking here, so I'm going to like that. But this is what, I, that this portion here, maybe here, and even all this, that's what I'd call confetti. So it's a lot of colour changes. So that would take you a lot longer, well it would take me a lot longer personally, because I'd have to use just a single placer to place these whereas where we've got lots of the same colour I can use my I'm up to a five placer I'm so proud <laughs> I'm up to a five placer I did start off with a th one then a three then a four and now I'm on a five I did jump to an eight but it was too much for me to uh, to do so yeah I'm building up all the time so if I lift up the canvas she's got a beautiful necklace on a gorgeous red hair carry on moving up and then this is all her tail her tail here and then you've got the crocodile here that's going all the way up isn't it does so cool I love this artist I love this artist this is not going to be the last one that I purchase from this artist and I'd love to try a mystery kit but I'm terrible I just I'll end up messaging people saying can you send me a picture of the uh the canvas so I can see it and spoil the surprise with myself but yeah that is the last one that I want to share now they still have got a sale on at the minute oh I need to put my diamonds in they still have got a sale on at the minute um I mean 
I've not shot with Diamond Art Club for that long. I think, I think two years ago maybe I bought my first one. And I've got two of them actually currently hung up in my daughter's room. Would anybody be interested in a finished diamond paintings? I'd have to get in contact with my sister because my niece has got one of the paint, one of the Hannah Lynn paintings that I finished. She's got one. And then the butterfly that I just finished recently is actually going to my mum. So I'd have to film that soon before that gets uh, sent to her. Yeah, words words and then I've got one hung up down here as well and then I've got my very first one still stuck to my fridge and that was off Amazon that one but yeah that's all of the diamond paintings that I've purchased like I said this sale is just tempting me and I know it's not a lot of diamond paintings I know it is and you know it's going to take me a while to get through these but I'm just thinking in my brain if they're on sale and on such a good sale like 50% off why not buy them when you know you're going to do them? Keep them in your stash and then you can just go through them slowly. I think this is the way that I will carry on now. I'll always have a diamond painting behind me and then my artwork in front of me and I can bob between the two. So I do always want to have some sort of um, diamond painting on the go. It is just... Some part of it I don't find relaxing because then I panic that I'm not doing it right, like placing them in the right place if I'm too tired. But I just find it, so, what's the right word that I'm looking for? Like, you know when you're doing your art and you're colouring and you're painting, you have to think about what colours that you're doing, you have to think about your blends and etc, etc. With this you don't. It's like the colour by numbers, I suppose, and the paint by numbers. It's just telling you what to do and your brain can switch off and I can have something on in the background, I can listen to other diamond painters, colouring channels, true crown, whatever and then my brain just switches off in the evening and uh, and before I know it, I'm two hours two hours has gone by and I've done, done a big chunk of it so yeah, I'm really really enjoying diamond painting at the minute but I will try my best to link these three uh, diamond paintings in the description and please do let me know if you want to see a uh, finished diamond painting video um, I won't do a collection because you've more or less seen everything that I've got I've shown everything I think on the channel but yeah, enough of my rambling, take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!